Hey guys, Scare9 here. Welcome back to my channel today. And after hearing all of our feedback, Kevin Yanes went to the Bungie forums and actually laid out all eight steps to get Radrix's broadsword within season four. Now, yesterday we talked about how the Radrix's broadsword was essentially just a reskinned Radrix's Claymore. Bungie seems to not be happy with the amount of people that actually managed to attain this weapon and to make up for that, they're making a quest in season four that you can complete in order to get a variation of this weapon that is essentially the same thing, but not as prestigious. Now, keep in mind, this will not be the only weapon for season four in terms of kind of trophy weapons from competitive. It does appear like there is going to be a second one called the Lunas Howl, and that it will also come from a quest. But for right now, we're going to stick with the pinnacle weapon, the Radrix's Broadsword. And I want to go through the steps of this quest and give my opinion on it and then to see what you guys think as well. So the first step says, in the Crucible, defeat 200 opponents with Pulse Rifle Final Blows. That's pretty standard. You're going for a Pulse Rifle. This is, of course, going to be a very decent first step. Step two is to reach the Valor Rank Heroic. That's not very difficult. In step three, it says, in the Crucible, you have to earn 75 double plays. That might take a while for some people. Step four says, in the Crucible, defeat one 150 opponents with precision final blows from any pulse rifle once again really playing into the pulse rifle theme next in step five you need to defeat 50 opponents with arc final blows 50 opponents with solar final blows and 50 opponents with void final blows now step six step seven and step eight are where things get very difficult or at least very time consuming in step six you need to complete 25 crucible matches in quick play 25 matches in competitive and a final 25 in rumble like I said, that might not be the most difficult thing in the world because you just have to complete them. You don't have to win them, but that will be very time consuming. Now in step seven, you have to complete 20 separate crucible bounties. We don't know if that is going to be retroactive. Say if you complete 15 as you are going through steps one through six, is that going to count for step seven? I personally hope not, but I guess we will see. And then the final step is step eight, where you have to reset your valor rank five times within a single season. Now, what are my opinions on this? Is this a long enough quest? I am feeling a lot better about this because a lot of people are not going to put in the amount of time required here. This is obviously a huge amount of Crucible that you have to play and participate in in order to get to the Radrix's Broadsword. That being said, in my opinion, it's still not difficult enough, I guess. I wish that there was more of an emphasis on competitive. Pretty much the only thing here that does focus on competitive play is finishing 25 matches in competitive, and that's obviously not a huge thing. Now, that being said, like I did mention, there's going to be a second pinnacle weapon of the Lunas Howl this season, or at least it appears. So hopefully that one is tied in a little bit more with the glory system in competitive modes. However, we will just have to wait and see. So at the end of the day, does this make up for Radrix's essentially being made obsolete and just a trophy weapon? Not really, in my opinion. I'm still very disappointed that they are making this thing available again, but that is just what type of person I am. That is my personality type. I don't see that changing anytime soon. So I'm sorry. Sorry if you, you know, are, are kind of disappointed that it disappoints me. But at the end of the day, we all have different opinions and that's how it's going to go. I just wish that, you know, it, it just, the Radrix's Claymore doesn't feel like as big of an achievement as it used to, because I know that a couple hundred thousand people are going to be running around with this thing at least next season. And, you know, that's, that's kind of a lot, obviously. So let me know what you guys think about all of this down in the comment section below. I'm extremely interested to hear your opinion on this. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like rating and to share it with your friends. If you're interested in watching either of the two videos on screen you can click their respective annotations be taken to them if you are brand new to my channel make sure to have the giant version of my logo on screen to be subscribed to my awesome destiny 2 videos and live streams thank you guys so much for watching today and i'll see you in my next video